Good morning, everybody. So here's our kind of mid-morning update. There's uh, more and more people showing up. We've got some uh, super bees. We've got stock trailers. We had some more tractors just show up. We got multiple sewer, or sorry, sewage, sorry, manure spreaders that showed up. So uh, we were hoping that they'd be loaded because really they need to deposit uh, a lot. That's just an opinion. There's people here with their kids. You can see some younger folks walking along right there. I'm just gonna skip by the truck really quick. We had a picker truck show up flying some flags. So the support here, folks, is it's huge. So everybody here knows the messages that we've been receiving, not just from Alberta, not just from Western Canada, but from across the world, we've been sharing with the truckers inside. Literally, we spent hours last night reading through the messages. Your messages of support are so big. Inside there, communication isn't great. Uh, unfortunately, the organization isn't great either, but it's, it is what it is, and we're doing the best we can to facilitate conversation let them know that there's support so keep the support coming we appreciate it so that's the update here it's uh it's a little warmer today i've got a few things i want to talk about first i got four or five points here that we need to go over quickly so uh, i was actually going to give our uh our washed up useless sellout of a third rate politician premier top billing but he doesn't deserve it he's going to come next and here's why there's a young girl in Drayton Valley in grade 10 who's reached out to us and she's going to do a high school walkout tomorrow. She's asking everybody to join her. The point of this walkout is the kids are tired. The adults aren't holding the line. They're not supporting the kids and the kids feel like they don't know what else to do. So we're asking everybody here, everybody, everywhere, please share this. We want kids en masse in high schools to walk out tomorrow. It doesn't need to be highly organized. All you need to do is meet the kids at 1230 outside their class. Take some signs of support. Show up, honk some horns. Let them know that you stand with them. Take some pictures and then share it, some video. Share it through social media because the pressure is working. We just need to be a little bit more creative to show our politicians how serious this is. So share that information far and wide. It's it's making a dent, folks. It's it's big. They're feeling the pressure. There we go. Hear that? Our kids are right there. That's fantastic. That's what's happening, you guys. We had somebody here from Toronto last night. There's trucks from Saskatchewan and BC here now. So that's uh, the Haley McLean story from Drayton Valley. We're not gonna share it through traditional media because she said don't. Traditional media isn't helping us. Traditional media is telling us half truths at best. So we need us as a group to spread the word organically. If you know somebody with a high school kid, if you know somebody that's a parent of a high school kid, reach out to them, let them know. Tomorrow at 1230, after they're done at the schools, go to your local MP's office, go to your local MLA's office and ask them, why are they silent on this? And the problem, folks, is that it's every group. It doesn't matter if it's NDP, if it's liberal, if it's conservative, they're all weak. They're all soft. There's hundreds of thousands of us across the country now that are doing this. And, and where are they? They're comfortable, right? They're, they're just enjoying their lives. So that's the Haley McLean update. So to our, our third rate politician of a premier, we're hearing stories that he's been reaching out to local landowners and local businesses, telling them not to support this, that he's gonna try and help out. He's gonna try and come and save the day. And the reason why he's doing that is he's trying to cause division, okay? Because when you get landowners fighting landowners and businesses, business owners fighting business owners, we lose sight of what is really happening, okay? So he's the master of manipulation. There's a reason why his MLAs inside his caucus call him Little King. He's a tyrant. But you know who he is? He's somebody that should be working for us. And he's not. So, that's the story. So if you're hearing landowners or businesses that are being contacted by either the Premier or the Premier's office, please, let us know. Share the story. Let them know that there's support. Don't let that guy divide us any further so 
The third point I was wanting to make today is, it's more of a question about how did we get here? How is it the Canadians across the country are, are standing on the middle of frozen highways in the middle of winter? How is it that they drove across the country to their nation's capital? How is it that convoys are plugging the cities on weekends? How do we get here? Has anybody put a lot of thought into that? I've got a theory. My theory is that it's apathy. Is that is that as Canadians, it's not built into our culture. And it feels uncomfortable to do this. People hope somebody else is gonna come and save the day. We hope that it's gonna be a leader, right? And, and let me tell you something, folks. It, it, they, aren't, they aren't out there. We need to grab hold of this. They're gonna try and get in front of the parade like Ralph Klein used to say, and it's unfortunate, but it's the truth, right? They sit back and wait for the parade, and then they try and get in front of it. Don't buy it. There's a reason why they're being quiet right now. It's because they're terrified. Provincially, the MLAs are continually threatened by Jason Kenney, and, and they take it, they accept it, and it's disgusting. The Conservative Party are useless. And I, I say this as, as a UCP member and a former Conservative Party member, okay? Our RMPs are house plants. They've done nothing. And, and all you have to do is think back a little bit. Have, have, has any one of them sp spoken up publicly and said, you know what, we got to do something. We got to change. Maybe our rights are being infringed upon. I mentioned the lawsuit yesterday with Brian Peckford. The, the, the generator, one of the generators of our charter rights and freedoms is taking our federal government to court. He gets it. Why is it all the other politicians are silent? There's a problem, folks. And it's because they know we're complicit. And they think that they can play this out for a while. So, good news is, more people are on their way. We've got more fuel, more groceries, more trucks, more tractors. We had logging trucks come here from uh, Western Alberta last night. There's porta potties being delivered. Folks, get involved. Get to the schools tomorrow if you don't want to travel. Find the high schools. Get involved. Get active. That's the call to action. Get involved. Get active. Find the rolling convoys that are happening across the province every day now at noon. Get involved. Get active. And then share that information. Share it. Look at this. We've got kids walking up and down delivering goods. We had kids deliver juice to us today. We had seniors making sandwiches for us last night at 11 o'clock. The most amazing old lady came up to us and she asked me as we're walking up and down talking to individuals, would you like a, a tuna sandwich? Thank you for what you're doing. Folks, like, this isn't a movement of 20 year olds. People have taken this seriously and they've left their homes to come and make sandwiches for these people. Like, that's how big this is. And, and we know that the support is there because we keep getting messages from you. So please do something. Please don't be the Canadians that are hoping somebody else does it for you. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And don't wait till it's convenient. Don't wait for Saturday. Get involved today. I mentioned that in my video earlier this morning. We need people right now, right now to get involved. So thank you again for all the support. It's, it's honestly heartwarming. These people here are good people. They're smiling, they're waving, they're glad to be here, they're tired, they're wore out, but they're not going anywhere. The police presence has been amplified again today. We're not sure what that means. We're supposed to hear about negotiations happening soon. I guess we'll see what comes from that. But we're the difference makers in this situation right now, folks. It's us, okay? It, this is about us. We'll talk soon.